I love to surround myself in nature, to get lost in its beauty and wonder, to surrender all my stresses and worries, to release, to pause and breathe, to enjoy and to simply be. So today I'm bringing my love of nature to my projects as I tend to do. They'll be in a cottage course style, a little shabby chic with a touch of whimsy. So sit back, relax, I hope you enjoy and leave inspired. Let's get into DIY number one. I'm going to be starting with this shabby chic frame. Obviously it had the glass and the backing. I've just removed it all so I've got the frame itself to work with. I'm also going to be using this teacup. Again, a really lovely shabby chic. And I'm going to be sticking it down to my frame at the bottom using my hot glue. You can use E6000 or any kind of glue that you like. Before I go ahead and stick the cup down onto the frame you're going to take a foam block or foam brick and we're going to cut a little bit off and place it inside the cup Next I'm going to be taking some of my dried flowers, I always love to just keep these from bouquets and use them in my projects and I'm going with these really dainty ones like the baby's breath and some of these purple ones, I'm not too sure on the names of those ones and I'm going to fill my cup just covering all of the foam brick. And then once you're done filling your cup, if you find that you've still got some spaces that you can see, you can fill it up with moss so you can glue it down with your hot glue and you can do that before you stick the flowers in, it will probably be easier. I just hoped that I had more to work with so you wouldn't really be able to see that much. So this is my cup now, it looks like a little miniature meadow, I really really love it, it's so pretty and dainty. So now we're going to go and stick our mug, sorry our cup, into the frame. So this is how our frame and our cup look so far. I've made sure that I've just jam packed the flowers and I'm really happy with it. Now I want to add one final touch which is this hummingbird. I was actually going to work with this one but it's way bigger. So I'm going to go with this one and I do like that it's got softer colours. And I was just playing with the angle but I'm going to have him as though he's just um, flying above. So here's a beautiful structure. And now for the hanging, you can add something to the back to hang it from or like me, you can take an old picture frame backing. This was from another project, I didn't need it. And I've just taken this apart, it just came off really easily, just ripped it. And then I'm just going to glue that to the back so we can actually lean it and have it standing. So here's a look at our final project. I've hung this on my wall and I'm loving it, it looks so beautiful. I think I'm going to make another one just to gift my mum because I'm sure she's going to love it as well. I'm going to start my second DIY with three pieces of wood. I'm going to put them all together just on top of each other like this and you can glue them down, I'm not, just so I can use them for other projects. Then we're going to be taking half a bauble. And you want to get rid of this part here and to do that you want to grab your pliers. When you're doing this be very gentle and very careful because you don't want it to crack the rest of your bauble. There we go, it should be fairly quick and simple just like that. And you can just sand this area here. So you're going to grab some moss and you want to add some hot glue to stick it all down. You want to cover the entire surface of your wood. 
And while I'm doing that, I just wanted to let you all know that today's video is part of a friendly collaboration. So there's a lot more ideas for you to enjoy in a playlist. We've got two amazing guests, so please do check out the playlist once you're done watching my video. And subscribe to all the other girls as well. Now we're going to take a little angel or cherub and we're going to place him in the middle. Again, you can stick him down if you like. And then I'm going to be taking these miniature flowers. These are paper ones. And we're going to remove this wire. You can just do it with your hands, I usually do. You want to take some hot glue again and stick them wherever you like inside the mask. And once you've done that, take your bauble and place it on top. And it's up to you if you'd like to have the moss like tidied up and cleaned and you don't want any coming out but I really like the look of it this way so I'm keeping it as it is and you can stick the bauble down with some hot glue if you like again I'm just keeping mine like this I just want to quickly show you how I'm going to style it I'm taking this vintage book I found in a thrift store and I think I'm going to go with this page here so we're going to turn this around and we're going to place it just on top like this and then I'm taking a thrifted pearl necklace and I'm just going to place that somewhere around here so here's how our second project looks finished I really love this, it's more like vintage and shabby chic I just think it's adorable, it's sweet, it's magical it's everything that I love all in one I really hope that you love these projects as much as I do we've got one more left for the third DIY I'm going to be using this slate which I have used for a previous project so if you can see a little bit I'm going to start by giving it a coat of chalk paint so I just need to mix this up a little bit I've just gone in and dried the first layer with my hot air gun. Now I'm going to go in with another layer of paint. Now my slate is dry, we're going to be doing some decoupage. So I've got my napkin and my mud podge. I'm removing all the inner layers of the napkin. Usually when I'm doing decoupage I'll cut pieces out but I'm going to go with the whole half of the napkin here so it's going to be easier than usual and we're going to start by applying a layer of Mod Podge down onto our placemat. I'm taking some cling film to press it down and get rid of as many wrinkles as I can. Now I'm getting rid of the excess napkin on the sides. going to go with some more Mod Podge just on the sides to seal all of the napkin in. And you can see it just really melts into the placemat. And that's also why it's important to paint whatever object you're using when you're doing decoupage in a white background. 
And as always, I advise to use a white background napkin. It just always looks better if you are new to decoupage. So you can see like all of the grooves here are still showing up, which I love. So I'm going to go over the whole placemat with some varnish. You can use Mod Podge as well if you want. And this dries really quick. You don't need much at all either. Now my varnish is dry. I'm taking this stamp and some black ink. This is a script writing, which I love. And we're going to just stamp that down right here. I'm only doing like a quarter of the stamp, as you can see. Now I'm done with the stamping, I'm going to dry brush a little bit of this white acrylic paint. So I like to just stab my paintbrush and then get rid of the excess on the actual paint itself. <laughs> As my final touch, I'm going to take this little tester paint and I've added a little bit to my paintbrush. I'm just going to flick it to create a little bit of kind of just an artistic effect, basically. And here's our final project for today, a beautiful botanic placemat. I'm so happy with how all these projects have come out, but let me know what you think. If you have enjoyed these projects, please do leave me a thumbs up and make sure you subscribed if you haven't already done so. If you'd like to see more content from me, don't forget to check out the playlist with all the other ideas and here's all the projects together. Thank you and I hope that you have enjoyed watching. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.